when is the day for people to go out and vote? Well, the election is going to uh, start on February 20th. Uh -huh. February 20th, that's in my uh, flyer, says February 20th to March 1st. That's the early voting date. Uh -huh. Then the election day will be March 5th, 2024. Very crucial election. Very crucial election. And my advice to every people in Texas is come out and come with a vengeance. The mm -hmm. vengeance is your border is in your mind, your school choice is in your mind, mm -hmm. your Democrat committee chairs that the Republicans are giving to them should be in my mind, mm -hmm. our election integrity should be in your mind, mm -hmm. and look and see, look at every one of these elected Republicans in the office who took part of Paxton's impeachment, supporting Dave Phelan, you know, for his liberal agenda, because he blocked many of the uh, oh, yeah. conservatives. What do they call them, the dirty dozen, right? Dirty, well, a dirty five dozen, because 60 of them, not one dozen. Oh, wow. Five dozen. Hmm. The 60 of them, with the one one uh, uh, sound, mm -hmm. they push the button and say, yes, vote Dan, uh, Ken Paxton. Gary Gates, like the guy who sued you to try to get you off the ticket. Yeah which is typically a tactic used by the left, not by our own people. Right, so. that's, that's a democratic playbook. Yeah, if this is allowed to stand, then we don't have a vote anymore. It's no. just lawsuits will rule the day. And I appreciate your courage for standing up and getting through that lawsuit and not dropping out and not giving in, but to keep fighting. That takes real courage. That's what his, his, he was thinking for. Yeah. He thought that I will be like any other, someone else will drop out and go. You know what people are like this representative to serve them yeah not for themselves mm -hmm. here gary gates is self-serving guy he has several of his bills is all for his apartment complexes i mean that's that's pretty much it everyone in in, in texas and especially in fort bend county knows he doesn't live in fort bend he uh -huh. doesn't in texas he lives half of his time in colorado uh -huh. i mean it's been widely uh, uh publicized in, uh, in newspapers and mm -hmm. others and people know that I mean, he is known for impeaching Paxton, mm -hmm. voting to impeach Paxton without any due process. Mm -hmm. They push the button and says, yes, vote Dan, uh, Ken Paxton. Yep. One, without any, mm. any, any sort of, uh, uh, an, uh, you know, following the proceedings. It's crazy. Not. Within, this has all happened in 36 hours. Mm -hmm. 36 hours. You are impeaching someone with duly elected, not once, twice. Within 36 it's kind hours. Of, they didn't really read the room. I mean, they, they, Ken Paxton is enormously popular. He is. Yeah. He, he, he said he was protected by God in this because they took away his money, they took away his voice, and they took they they ambushed him. Correct. So if they could do that to him, they could really use the force of law and lawsuits on anybody. The reason we are in this mess is the Speaker Dade Phelan and the House, including Gary Gates. Yeah. And that is it. Now they are coming back as a protect. Texas and protect the border. Yeah. And I will, I wish he even go to the border. Rather, he photoshopped. He sent a flyer two days ago. He photoshopped the wall behind him. Oh, really? Yeah. But unfortunately, the wall is two feet shorter than Mr. Gates. Yeah. At least yeah. use some sense, Mr. Gates. When you photoshop a, a wall behind you, use some common sense. You look at my website, I've been to the border. I touched the wall. Yeah. I looked at the, the eyes of mm -hmm. the, uh, the Border Patrol agents and say, we have a problem. Yeah. Take the voice back to the people because yeah. this is not my voice or anyone else. It is yeah. the people's voice. They let that people's voice heard Absolutely. in the house without the lobbies, you know. Uh -huh. If you look at it, Mr. Gator Gates and several others, 60% of the time, 60% 6 of the time voting with the lobbies. Uh -huh. And where is the constituents? Where is the people? The people of Texas. Yeah, they just don't know what he's doing. It's a problem. Exactly. Just, they just don't know. If they knew what he was doing, Correct. they would vote him out. Correct. And that's the idea is to get the word out. Well, now he is trying to buy people's uh -huh. support. Maybe he paid it before or now. Who knows? Uh -huh. Using others' name. Because he has nothing to stand on his own. Yep. Here I am. You know what? I have so several of the leaders asked, told me that I will endorse it. But you know what? The greatest endorsement is the people of the district. Absolutely. Every one of them. The, if they trust me, that's all I can count. Well, you, you came over here. Just before you came here, you were block walking. Exactly. So what do you hear when you're out there knocking on doors? What do people say they're concerned about? Well, I talked to several people this morning, uh -huh. several of them. 
you know i mean some of the seniors stay home so in the morning time it's very good to talk to them oh yeah you know it says we are totally unhappy with the current administration current yeah. house representatives mm -hmm. they did not do anything and that is the reason we are in this big mess at least about six people this morning told me six mm -hmm. of them told me that border go and kick the border and fix it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i have several names that i can mention this morning yeah so everyone's mind is border border is the number one you see we have illegal immigrants coming by not dozens millions oh yeah okay and this has not happened one day now we're trying to do the uh, reactive mode mm -hmm. well we should be on a proactive mode oh yeah no this should have been stopped this should have been fixed a long time ago by the republican party in texas exactly yeah okay what have this uh, elected republicans done nothing nothing well they fought each other mm -hmm. they fought with the senate the mm -hmm. Senate, Senate has some more common sense and they were standing up. Right. But the House is constantly fight. The property tax, and I was there May 26th there talking to this representative say, we need the maximum compression and the homestead exemption, all areas and all entities, not mm -hmm. only school tax, in the mud and city and all that. But you know what? They did not listen to any of the people because mm -hmm. the people did not come, number one. Their masters feeling. And the lobbyists came number one and they told him go ahead and push the button to impeach paxton that's what they did in an emergency matter yeah this could be the only explanation there's enough people with an r by their name that these big legislative agendas should get approved committee mem committee chairs are democrats 40 percent of them not one two 40 percent yeah. of them in republican state of texas you got 40 percent of committee chairs are democrats so that's got to stop who is electing gary gates Phelan, and rest of the the uh, rhinos, mm. the Republican in name only. Right. What, what I want to tell the people is, if you mm. are not outraged, come out with a vengeance and get all these people who are in the office now, get them out yeah. and bring a new slate mm -hmm. because that's what we Texas need. The current administration, I'm talking about the House, mm -hmm. is not doing their job. And if you are like the same people, you'll get the same results. That's true. Your border will be open. You're going to have another, we're going to have another 20, 10 million or 20 million people will keep coming. Mm -hmm. Drugs will keep coming. The, uh, the, the human traffic, we, they have no control on it. But mm -hmm. look at the uh, election integrity. Mm -hmm. They have not done anything. And Gary Gates came and against me and put my wife and my family through all this ordeal. Yeah, you. And filed a lawsuit against me. Yeah. And he's, he's still angry and upset yep and just like paxton said the grace of god is with me mm -hmm. and i have the power and the anointing of god with me the same spirit which is in david when you saw looked at the face of goliath mm -hmm. and said you know what you are reproaching my god and you will not stand anymore amen brother. i'm standing up the same way to them not only gary gates mm -hmm. every one of them standing up say you know what we need someone with the backbone yes not depending mm -hmm. on the lobbyists or the heavy donors mm -hmm. depend on the people and depend on god yeah depending on fight. god yes amen i appreciate it all right That's thanks right. for your time all right